What's up, Android fans? Techie Me is back, and this time I'm going to show you how to customize your status bar or notification bar to your liking. So let's get to it. Okay, first off, let's see what I have on my status bar. This is a custom status bar that I get with my ROM. I'm running Blazor ICS ROM, so this is the status bar that I have. So not to get confused, okay? I'm just showing you my stock status bar. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to customize your status bar without rooting or modding your phone. Okay, so let's start. We have four apps. Let's start with one tap quick bar. All right, this is one tap quick bar. What this does is it adds a row over here of power widgets like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and all that stuff, or you can even have apps, or you can have both. So let's add a new bar there so right now we have a blue colored bar we don't want a blue one so let's go to design and we can choose all these backgrounds for our background and let's choose this for our video purpose the wooden background all right let's go back to items now what items do we want on our status bar let's have wi-fi toggle airplane toggle sync settings actually not sync settings just click there and it goes back auto sync and GPS okay then we can even add applications let's let's add Amazon just for this video we can even add shortcuts like direct call direct message and all the other goodies we can even add contacts we can even add uh, what is this recent tasks wow I didn't know that and we can add other stuff like last call note a quick note back to home page and all these other functions like play stop all these music controls okay so let's go back to settings okay so this is the stuff we added five things let's actually add six things let's add one more calendar boom so that's six things right we have design we can choose any background we want we can have a black background a blue background so we have a wooden background right now and let's click apply okay and let's click apply again and there you go now we have one tap quick bar running on our status bar let me show you how that looks like so back I'm, I'm back in my home scroll down and boom look what I have here I have my toggles Wi-Fi and all that stuff so this is what one tap quick bar does it has these toggles I can switch on my GPS I mean my Wi-Fi right from there see it's back on I can switch it back off what else can I do I can go straight to my calendar or my Amazon so that's one tap quick bar really handy really nice a must have on any Android phone okay next up we have charge bar charge bar is basically a battery indicator icon from MIUI ROM imported into an app so let's see Let's just switch on charge bar. So here we have over here on top. Let's switch it off. Do you see what's happening right in the corner, upper left corner? Click on again and there you go. I have 20% battery level, about 20%. So right there I have a blue indicator icon showing me my battery level. Now what I can do with my stat, I can change the color of this. I can change the thickness. Let's make this really, really thick, like 8. Let's make it 8. Okay, so as you can see, it's more thicker now. And let's see, what else can I do? I can change the color. It's blue right now, let's make it red. Alright, so there you go. I have a blue in red indicator icon showing me the color of my battery. So if my battery is full, this indicator icon right over there on top will go all the way to the top all the way to the other end if I have it if it's charging it'll go zoom 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 it'll just be zooming by so it'll be animated so that's charge bar. all right next up we have smart status bar now what smart status bar does is it makes your status bar available in full screen apps like a game or something let's check this out let's see 
So we have start on boo, gesture sensitivity, timeout. Let's change the timeout to about five seconds. That should be enough. So within five seconds, you, your status bar will go away. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Let's go to an app. Let's go to Amazing Alex. Now this is a game, right? It's full screen. I can't see my status bar. But suppose I do want to access my status bar. I just swipe down and boom, I have my status bar. And I even have my charge bar. MI UI charge bar battery right there. So I can just swipe down and I can check what notifications I have and boom, it goes back away in five seconds. So that's smart status bar. Next up, we have super status bar. Super status bar is complete customization of your status bar. Now check out over here. Check out my status bar right now. And now I'm gonna go to super status bar and activate it. Check this out. See, I have a custom background on my status bar. My icons have changed. My signal bar is in the middle now. And I can swipe down and it looks different too. So what is this? This is super status bar. Let's check out the settings of this. So we have general. In general, we want it to start on boot, static notification, custom background. We can change the image of the custom background. We can select anything we want from our gallery, all right? So right now I selected this as my custom background. Let's go back to elements. Now elements is everything in the status bar, okay? So clock, so let's go to battery first, okay? So we can have the text visible. If you click on that and boom, text is visible. I have 15% battery left. Let's uncheck that. Juice visible. And we can even have the MIUI bar that I just talked about in charge bar. That's a different app, but this incorporates that into action. So we can have battery, we can even have MIUI bar in that battery. Let's go to clock. Now what do we want? We want a 12 hour clock, we want we can change the font of the clock clock, we can select it to display AM PM of the clock and all that stuff, right? That's my clock on the right side notifications, date, we can even have the display date, panel and toggles. Toggles are the stuff that this status bar displays at the very bottom. These are the toggles it has right now. You can change those toggles to whatever you want, right? So let's go back. Okay. And let's go back to elements. We were in toggles. So let's go to toggles. We have data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS. We can have whichever ones we want it to show. All right. And we even have weather. Okay. And check that out. My weather in Indianapolis is partly cloudy. Showing me the date right there too. So really nice customization. And what else can we do? Advanced. We can even have advanced and we can have root mode and all that stuff. But I suggest you don't play around with it. But in custom layout you can have the clock centered. And boom. See? All the stuff has gone to the side the signal bar and the clock is centered like the iPhone kind of thing. So we can just leave that on there. So that's my status bar now. Boom. Custom status bar, right? I can even click right here and go to my recent apps. So I have Nova Launcher running in Google Play and the recent apps. Go back to notices. And it does work with ICS and you can even swipe away the notifications. So really nice widget. This is the free version. You can even have buy the premium version and get rid of this widget. And you can add widgets here. So that's really nice, but I don't need that. So that's super status bar. Complete customization of your Android phone. So these are the apps that totally, totally customize the look and feel of your status bar. So here we have charge bar, super status bar, one tap quick bar, and smart status bar. Let me know what your favorite app was or all of them were your favorites, all right? So that's it for now. Don't forget to hit that like button for showing you how to customize your status bar without rooting your phone. And subscribe if you haven't already. That's it, this is Tech and Me signing out. Shoo! Tech and Me, Tech and Me, Tech, tech and Me. <laughs>